Hey, this is Steve with Genius Games, and we are in the middle of a cellulose playtest, and we thought we would film a round or two uh, just to show what's going on in the game and what the game plays like. Uh, so we are, we're a couple rounds in. Um, we've been building up this card wall here. Uh, we've built some different cards. Here's Daniel and Bailey, and they're playing. And uh, we are about to start the round. So at the beginning of the round is the sunrise phase when we all get to collect income from our advancements on the plant board. Um, so I'll just, I'll do mine and these guys can, can do their own, but I'm the orange player. So I'm up here where I get eight carbon dioxide for the round. And I also get three water and one protein, but I have uh, enzyme power, which is now called enzyme production. Um, and this is a special ability that I can spend one protein to activate one of my enzymes and to use its bonus ability right now during the sunrise phase. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna activate uh, hormone signaling and this is gonna let me move down this track. So I'm gonna pay uh, one of these little hormones and I'm gonna move my marker down here, which will immediately score me three points. And this changes my income so that I'm going to get eight carbon dioxide, five water, and two proteins. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while these guys collect their resources too. This is my little uh, six carbon dioxide and six water thing. Uh, the plant board has a bunch of different tracks you can take that let you specialize in different things. So since I have a bunch of enzymes which cost proteins to activate, um, I went down this protein side of the board, um, and since I have a reliable source of photosynthesis, um, I went up to this top sprout instead of picking one of the leaves. The leaves give you photosynthesis actions, but I didn't need that because I have my own. Um, yeah, I don't know what else is happening. Daniel collected some carbon dioxide and a bit so of water. I have so much carbon dioxide. Daniel has it's very exciting. Oh Tons of <laughs> carbon dioxide. And Bailey is doing what? I uh, collected some water and carbon dioxide, and I, because I'm right here, uh, in the morning phase, I get to put up to two water into the bathroom, which I will do now. Nice. Yes. Um, and then, okay, Daniel's up. All right. Um, so I, I'm seeing a free card that looks like something that I might be interested in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and put it in my hand. Nice. And I'm also gonna take this card and pay one card for it. Or CO2. Um, <laughs> I am done on that track. I think I want to be first player. So I'm gonna go there and pay one carbon dioxide and take first player marker from Daniel. And I get to draw a random card. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna play it right now. Uh, so the way your turn works is you place a flask, take one action on the board, and then you can complete a card from your hand if you want. And I drew a good one. Uh, so I have drawn vacuolar processing enzymes. Cost is one ATP and one protein, so I'll pay those. And it lets me put three water into my section of the central vacuole. So at the end of the round, we'll have a contest, and whoever wins this thing gets an extra worker for the round and scores points, potentially. Um, Daniel has the extra worker right now, the Great Flask, because he won last time. It's also why I don't have anything in... Yeah, it's also why he has no water, because it cleared out his water. Uh, so this gave me three water into the vacuole and two points. Um, and it lets me activate any of my other enzymes by paying one protein for each one. Um, I have two of them that I can't activate. I can't actually do the hormone signaling anymore because I maxed out the track. Um, but I'm gonna do this photosynthesis action, so it lets me swap uh, six water and six carbon dioxide for one carbohydrate. And then immediately, I'm gonna do the build cell wall bonus action. Um, so this is gonna place this carbohydrate on the next spot on the cell wall, which gives me seven more points and lets me add one water to my section of the central vacuole. And then this enzyme kind of joins my fleet of enzymes. So if I play an enzyme on a future turn, I'll get to activate potentially all of those. Um, yeah, that's my turn. Placed a flask, did the thing, played a card. Daniel's up. Must be nice. Uh, I'm gonna keep growing my roots. So I'm gonna go here to the membrane, secrete some hormones, uh, just one. 
So the cost is listed right here on the plant track, so I just need to pay one hormone. And my roots are a little bit deeper now. Great, and I'm gonna go ahead and take some water. So I have to move this down, but I get to collect six water first. And I'm also going to play this card, which costs one protein. I'm gonna go ahead and activate both of these. So I get two points for this card, and then because I activated this, I get another two points. So one, two, three, four. And then I get to put two water into the vacuole. So just to clean this up a little, I'll do this, and then this. Amelia is rightfully feeling threatened by <laughs> my encroachment on the, the central vacuole. Um, all right, I think I'm going here. And when you take carbon dioxide, it moves down the water level, just like when you take water. So Bailey took this action and it dropped the water level from six down to five, and I'm taking it and dropping it to four so I can collect CO2. Daniel's up. I am. I'm actually gonna go here. I'm gonna pay an extra protein to be able to do this action again. And I'm gonna keep growing my roots. Um, so I pay protein and then the cost is gonna be two ATP and two hormones to move my piece down there. So I'm gonna pay my two hormones and my two ATP. Go right there, score five points. Uh, what color am I? This one right there. And uh, that's it. I thought I could play a card, but I planned it poorly. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go here and take five protein. Perfect, and then I'm going to play this card. Two water and five water and two. So this is a protein. protein storage vacuole. There's a couple different sizes of them, but they all cost water and protein and let you recover one of your workers from the board. Yep. So I get four points for this one. One, two, three, four, and I will recover this guy. Normally, when you go to these big action spaces, you can only go there once per round. And so by playing there and then recovering her flask, she can theoretically go there again for more water if, if there's any left. Um, I say it like a threat. I know you do. <laughs> Let it happen. You really do. Let's see, I have that water, I want that. I need more proteins. Definitely want more water. Um, right now, I am losing by one. So I'm gonna go here, which gives me four water. Um, and when, whenever you take water like this, you can add up to three of the water that you're collecting into the vacuole. So I'm gonna drop two in there um, to put me one past Bailey, and then I'm just gonna collect two to my supply. And that is, I think that's my last action for the round. Daniel's got one worker left because he had the extra flask, and Bailey's got one more because she reclaimed one. That's right. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pay a good bit of you know, CO2 for that, three CO2. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and play this card. Pay two water and two protein. Um, score two points and pull my worker back. Okay. Very exciting. So exciting. Yep. And indeed, I am going to go back into the water space move this down so now no one can collect any more water. I will get three water and I will place two so that I can beat Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's up. That's a good point. Um, everything, feels like I can't do exactly what I wanna do so I'm just gonna grab some proteins. Okay. okay, so at the end of a round, a few things happen. So this was a daytime phase where we just placed flasks and played cards if we wanted. At the end of the round, uh, we, we first, I guess, we'll recover our player flasks. So we all just take back the flasks and our player colors. And then we score the central vacuole. Um, so the way this works is whoever has contributed the most, um, and right now Bailey is at 10 and I have 9, so this is Bailey, uh, will clear all the water from their section of the vacuole. We'll move up this track, so she'll score two points for doing that, and then she'll get the gray flask for the next round. 
Uh, now my water stays there, so I'm winning the, the next round I'm winning already. So I'm likely to get that one, or at least I have a good head start. Um, and these guys will have to really commit if they want to catch up. After we score the vacuole, uh, a carbohydrate gets added to the wall. And this is the game timer. So as this thing progresses, the water level will fill to higher and higher points when we get to this two or the three. And when we get to the end of this track, it will be the end of the game. And we'll proceed to end game scoring. We're not there yet though. So this is gonna fill back up to this sort of second chapter section right here. Um, and then lastly, we will we'll discard the cards in these cheapest two spots at a three player game. And we'll fill these back up with more cards for the next round. And that is a full round of cellulose. So at this point, we would continue on to the next round. We would get to take our morning abilities either from the plant board or from the cards that we have in play. Um, and then we'll continue with the new first player, me, and uh, take actions and play cards and keep going until the wall is filled up. Thanks for watching.